What is going on guys, and this is Ford bringing you a dual commentary with What Up Son, aka 316 Slim D, aka D Mark, is it? It's more like, yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy D Mark, aka Slim D. I'm gonna read the brand new edition of Dual Com. That's how I do it. Oh, that's how you do it. Well, see, this is my show, so I'm gonna do it my way. And you got like three different names. But I can't really say anything because I got I got two names. Well, I don't I don't go by what up son though. That's just my gamer tag. Who goes by their I gamer do tag? Well, if you want to buy me a one year Xbox Live card so I can put it on my 316 Slim D account, then I'll use that gamer tag. But until then, I'm using old. You know, what up actually, son. when I first started doing my commentaries, my uh, gamer tag, which I went by uh, on YouTube, was AK74U for noobs. Yeah, oh, no. wow. well, it, was, it was actually I did I did that one but, more free thing, um, just for shits and giggles because my uh, membership was expired and I didn't have the money at the time to renew it. So I just you know created a whole new account and uh, got a one month free, and I was like, fuck, what's my name gonna be? So I was like, ah, oh, whatever, fuck it, I'll just you know I picked anything, and that's that's what it was. And then I started making yeah. videos. So I was like, of course. So. So technically you're a noob because you use the AK-74. Uh, I don't really. The only time I use it is when I pick it up. So we're going to actually go into some major yeah, matches. Yeah, some what and stones, and I'm going to whoop the shit out of what up, son. Hopefully he doesn't. Not, there he is. There he is. Good. He is in our party. Alright, so when did you start making videos? Probably a year ago. Uh... Around a year ago, I've been uh, I actually live stream on JTV more than I would uh, upload videos. So I would just be live streaming, and then I met Jay Easy through Justin TV, and I started hanging out with him. And then he said, "Yo, you should start uploading videos to YouTube." So I decided to upload videos to YouTube, and that's where it started. Basically, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I did some research on you. And I actually went all the way back to your first couple of videos because the best way to know somebody is to go back to all uh, the videos they used to do. And the first couple of ones, it looked like you were more into uh, doing like effects on your videos. Like you had like this big theater come up uh, and you were showing the gameplay and you would zoom into the gameplay. Um, and then you, I saw a lot of videos where you weren't really talking at all or there was no sound whatsoever. And then it, was, it wasn't until Justin TV uh, I saw you uploading, and you were actually trolling a little bit. You did like a one v one against some random noob who tried to call you out. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? Because I found that really funny. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens is um, on JTV, like if you have a party of people, random people can just join your session, and these kids they love to join session to try to prove something to you or just to try to piss you off. And this kid comes in, joins my session. He's a little squeaker. I don't know how old he was, but then he wants to call like one of my friends. Uh, like just he was he was just being a dickhead. I'm not gonna say what he said because I don't appreciate it. But he was just being a dumbass. And um, he's like, "You're a noob," or he said something to piss me off. And it was one of those days. I was like, "Fuck it. You want a one v one someone, kid? Come on, let's go." And in the video, you've seen the kid could barely kill me. I was just running around knifing him, man. Yeah, your last five. I think I died yeah, like your five last times. five kills. You knifed him, uh, and it was actually really, really funny. And then what was that? Uh, one commentator it was uh, Bree Easy, I believe. You were uh, in a little dispute match with him during one of those games. Bree Easy? No, no, no. Bree Easy is Jay Easy's wife. Or uh, not? Maybe not. I think you're talking about yeah, blindfolded. Yeah, I, I didn't do my research too well. Yeah, it was it was blindfolded. This this kid was talking about we was playing Afghan. I think it was domination, and he kept flipping the spawn, and then he wanted to say something smart about me. And this dude paid like what was it, a grand and a half for a computer, another five hundred dollars so he can get a Black Magic Intensity Pro. Oh, shit. And he used to live stream, and he would get no views. <laughs> like he would be live streaming in 720p and he would get like five uh, views. You stayed friends with him? And he wanted to talk shit to me. No, I don't have even you? talk to that kid. I, I I don't like that kid ever have since you, have that. Have you looked him up to see how successful he was? I, that's what I should have done. I should have seen where he was at now. Oh, now he's doing good. Like he uh, 
he gets a lot of views. I think he averages around 100 views per live stream. So he's doing his thing, like, that's the only thing I don't like about live streaming is because my connection's so shitty. My quality makes it horrible, so you got to be a fan of me to actually sit in there and watch my live stream. Get I've actually, actually seen Get a couple of your live streams, and uh, what, you're into Pokemon right now, is it? As of right now, I'm playing Pokemon because I can actually live stream that in the higher quality, so people come in and watch, and then they still get my attitude of me just goofing off and doing what I do. So it's it's more of a thing where I'm doing it for the fans, and I'm doing it for the viewers get, at the same get time. Get Tomahawk. Get Tomahawk. You Hawk. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. Um, okay, so when did you actually... S so, like, I wish I could play more Black Ops. Oh, no, go ahead, go ahead. What? Finish what you're saying. Uh, I said, I was just gonna say, like, I wish my internet connection was better, so I can do more Modern Warfare 2 Black Ops type things. Cause back in the day, me and Jay, we would just do uh, custom matches, and we would just invite people from the live stream, and we would just play like um, Sticks and Stones, Border Patrol, Cops and Robbers, stuff like that. Back in the day when Mike Myers was popular, we would do that. We was like one of the first people on JTV to actually interact with the followers and bring them in so yeah i mean it, that back in the day was fun it's been changing a lot of people don't do that no more on jtv you know what uh one of the things i actually saw that you did was uh red dead redemption and you had uh, a boxing match on top of the uh um was it the rail uh the yeah the bridge the bridge now, that was like a 10-minute yeah, video. The I train know, bridge. That was one of the longest 10-minute videos I've ever watched. But it was it was some it was actually funny just seeing you guys just, you know, like like Jay Easy and, you know, yourself, you know, before you actually became, you know, you only had like 50 followers if that, you know. It was, you know, it was, it was weird seeing it. Oh, seeing yeah, the kind of videos you guys were uh, actually putting out. <laughs> I got to admit I was I was laughing through a lot of it. I'll get time off. <laughs> like back then, that's when Jay wasn't a, he wasn't really big in YouTube back when we was playing Red Dead Redemption. Like, I think around then he had like around 4,000, around what I got now. So this was way before he blew up. So we would, that's the type of things we did. We would interact with the people on this um, live stream and we would bring them into the games and we would make our own custom games. Like that game right there, I just made it. Like I was like, what can we do in Red Dead Redemption? that we can bring people in and have fun with. I was like, you fight in this game. I was like, why don't we just go on top of a bridge and whoever falls off loses. And that's what we came up with. So you actually met Jay Easy through, uh, through Justin TV or live streaming? Justin TV. Yeah. Oh, wow, the end of the game already. I, uh, I went into his room and um, I was just bullshitting with him and he invited me into one of the custom games. And this is a custom game that he made up. It's called Quick Draw, where you pull out your primary, and whenever Jay says draw, you switch to a secondary, and you try to kill the guy across from you. Well, he brought he brought me into that game, and knowing me, I'm a beast. I win at everything I do, or try to win at everything I do, and I actually won. So me and him just got started talking. I'm like, yo, I'm watching the live stream, blah, blah, blah. He's like, all right, what's up? Send me a friend request, and ever since then, we started gaming doing live streams, doing dual comms, doing dual live streams where I would be streaming, he'd be streaming the same thing. So when do you actually start commenting? Like, he's probably one of the yeah, commentaries? Like just, you know, talking to your subscribers. I don't know. You know just a little one on. Probably around eight months ago, around then. Like, as you've seen in my first videos, like, the reason I got a capture card was to record my game battles and MLG events that I played. Because I'm more of the competitive competitive gamer where me and Oh What Up Kill or people I call a monster in my videos, we would do game battles and we would beat someone and they would always want to dispute. And if you don't got proof of you winning, you would lose the match and they would get a free win. So I was like, fuck it. I went to Best Buy, grabbed a Dazzle, $60, came home, hooked it up, and I started recording uh our G game battles matches and that and like my first couple videos i think my maybe my first five or something videos or just either game battle matches with me and monster monster or it'd be uh public matches where i would kill myself and i would record monster and i would do like a 
weak ass montage of me and Monster playing because I can't edit with nothing. And then I started to it's like I can live stream with a dazzle? What? <laughs> so I started live streaming after the game battles and all that stuff and then you can start seeing the different type of matches I did when I started live streaming. And then here comes the commentaries because I met Jay Z and he said, You should do commentaries and then I started doing this week's shit, and now I'm stuck doing commentaries. Well, I wish I could go back and just do no voices because you either get hate for, oh, you sound black, or you cuss too much, or just idiots on the internet. Oh, yeah. You know how it is. We've seen, we've seen plenty of that. So do you, uh, when you first, I know what you said, uh, that you were doing it just for game battles, but when you started getting actually uh, actually into uh, the whole YouTube kind of thing, Justin TV. Um, are you actually happy with uh, what you have right now uh, for when you first started off? Um, when I first started off, I had, like, only a few people watching me. Like, I would be in Jay's live stream, and he was, like, always popular on J Justin TV, so I would do a video, and he would advertise it for me in his live stream. So that's where I got most of my views. Like, I had no subscribers. I think back then I was around, like, 500 subscribers, and, like, dead subscribers basically and it's the same situation now like i got 4200 almost and they're just really inactive subscribers yeah, but you've been growing actually a little bit more so since, like I, uh, especially with the house now yeah i mean i'm beginning in the active subscribers off of yash which is a good thing that's the main reason i'm doing it like a lot of people are excuse me a lot of people are doing youtube for the wrong reason i do it for the fun and the interactive with the my subscribers, my followers, because I think that's the difference between people that come from JTV to do YouTube. I'm so used to having fun with my fans and having fun with the subscribers that I want to interact with you guys. Like, I want you guys to do open lobbies. I do open lobbies all the damn time, and I just want to play with you. I want to have fun. And most of these YouTubers that started to do YouTube, they're doing it for, doing it for the Benjamins. They're doing it for the money, and I'm like, why do videos for the money? You should do videos because you love it. And if you get money because you're doing something you love, then you deserve the money. But if you're in it just for the money, it's just a shame because your quality is not going to be as good as someone that does it for the love of it. I'm not saying that C Nanners and all those big guys' quality sucks. I'm just saying they can just upload a video of them basically – Standing by the toilet and still get a hundred thousand oh, yeah, views. They can definitely do whatever that when they When it's just just because of their name, yeah, it's just their name. But if you got someone like um, LSX, he's a Yahoo director that he does real life. I mean, Black Ops in real life, something like that. I forget exactly how what he calls it. And he takes like him playing the game, and he like cuts out the he edited it somewhere where he's actually playing it in real life, where there will be a chopper gunner and then be, like, him walking in, like, everyday life. So I'm like, that is amazing. You should be – he's like a Freddie Wong or Freddie W, whatever his name is. I don't pay attention to big YouTubers. Oh, but no, you know no, what no. I'm yeah, saying? I've actually seen uh, two of his episodes now. I think he only has two out now. Um, I've seen I've seen both of them, and they're, they're yeah, pretty the sick. the chopper gunner. I mean, especially having original ideas nowadays on uh, – Black Ops or on YouTube in general is just hard to do, you know. A lot of people nowadays, you know, see a lot of, you know, big guys doing these videos that actually, you know, aren't good quality, and they're like, I could do that. Well, yeah, you can do that, but it's already been done, you know what I mean? Like, you need to bring something to the yeah. table, especially to, to get seen nowadays, that a lot of people haven't done. And I'm going to take that time off for you. Don't take it. That's you losing it, you mother lover. <laughs> <laughs> you dickhead. I was like, I know that, Tim, because you're not running away. Know. Run away from people. Even when I have no ammo, I don't. Oh my god! Get Tomahawk. Get Tomahawk. Oh, oh is that the final kill cam too? Well, that's it, guys. There's two games of six of songs for you. I came in second and third. Here's your boy, Slim D316 Slim D. He's going to be a uh, link in the description. Go ahead, check him out. He's a great guy.
Uh, until next time, guys. Later.